Hello and welcome to a new video and today we have a look to a new Starter Orchestra Library. It's Spitfire Audio BBC Symphonic Orchestra Discover. And you see the price, 49 euros. Uh, I guess it's nearly the same uh, in a dollar or free. So we have a look at this later and yeah, let's get to learn more and learn more again. Here we can see the instruments. You can see we don't have any ensembles, so you can't play the instruments at the whole keyboard. It's not bad, but you got to know it. Here we got the first violin, second violin, viola, celli and bassets. I, I like that you got the second violin because not every library has a second violin. We have everywhere the same articulations, long spiccato, pizzicato and tremolo. I guess the most important articulations. The basses are missing the tremolo, but I guess that's okay. The woodwinds got the piccolo flute, three flutes, three oboes, three clarinets, and three bassoons. And we got two articulations, long and staccatissimo. And we got the brass section, four horns, two trumpets, three tenor trombones, two bass trombones, and one tuba the most common brass instruments and we got two articulations long and saccatissimo. Now percussion. It's a little bit funny because we got harp, celeste, timpani, marimba, xylophone, glockenspiel and tubular bells and I am missing uh, the other percussion like grokasa, taiko, snare drum, cymbals and so on. So for me, it's not really percussion, it's chromatic percussion or tonal percussion, but uh, I'm missing a lot of things in here. So let's have a look uh, at the price. You see in the price at 49 and we have a look at the free choice. You can get it after waiting 14 days. You got to answer a few questions. I answered them and I'm logged in so I can show you the, the questions anymore. But I guess you need five to 10 minutes and then you wait 14 days. I guess it's okay for free version. And now we have a look at the comparison with the other libraries. I guess it's, uh, yeah, here, compare. So we got the core version, normally 449 euros, now 349, you save 100 euro. We got uh, the professional version. Instead of 999, you pay 749, so you save 250 euro now. And now we can compare it. Uh, the professional version has got 60, oh no, 56 instruments, core 42, and discover 33. So that's okay for a very cheap version. Professional has got 435 techniques or different articulations, core 305 and discover 47. For me, it's okay because uh, the articulations I showed you are very basic and most common and very useful. Now we got the round robins. Professional, up to eight, core, up to eight, round robin, just one. Mm, 
not so good, but can be okay for layout. And the mic signals or microphone signals, Professional 20. Uh, very big, very much. Core 1, Discover 1. Can be okay when you get great mix. And now the dynamic layers, up to 3, Core up to 3, Discover 1. That's not enough. Um, just have a look at the brass sounds and a trumpet or French horn sounds different when you play it at fortissimo or piano. And I don't know what kind of signals you get here. A French horn played at forte and just changing the velocity or is the filter working in the background? Uh, do we have the piano sound? It's it's not enough. and, and for um, layout, it's not enough when you want to, to use a crescendo or um, you, you play staccato with the um, strings. Next, legato. We don't have legato at Discover when you got Alari with a really fast attack and the next key doesn't play uh, with a long attack. It can work. And size professional 600 gigabyte because of uh, the 20 signals. You need a new SSD. Core 23, it's okay. And here 200 megabyte. So it's okay for a laptop um, because it needs less megabyte. It's really great. So would I buy it? I guess me not free yes but um i miss a lot of of the percussion sounds and one velocity layer is not enough so you will start to buy another library for more percussion and for more dynamic layers and so you pay on onto this library so that is my opinion what do you think about bbc Symphonic Orchestra Discover.